Hello and welcome back. So we have ambushed the Empire. He has no caster, ironically. We do though, so he's probably in a bit of a, a bad spot there. We're not going to use any food because we are kind of going to need that. I'll be very surprised, I'm going to be honest with you, if he stands to fight this. Like he could try and be very fast in the outmaneuvering with his calf, but I have three full armies. So it's not going to really end up the way he thinks it's going to end up. So uh, let's do this. You've got to love a good uh, a good hit squad, haven't you? The, yeah, this is all just... I kind of feel like he's just going to peg it straight off the map, yeah? And it's probably just more beneficial for us to get rid of the land ship. If anything, unbreakable. Oh, it's unbreakable as well. Yeah, it's, it's probably almost indefinitely a great idea to get rid of the land ship. Like... Unless he full circles around to fight us, we're just going to shoot him in the booty. Like, what? what is he really going to do? We can put all his heroes together. We've still got the AUE heals. Now, this is this is not a good situation. I don't know why we go random unit of 13. I think we swapped units with the other army, didn't we, for something. Put that there, then. We don't want to lose people. Unnecessarily, he says. However, a couple of slingers, I'm I'm willing to lose. Just put you guys in the woods, because anyone fleeing the field should just eat away, right? And that way they can maybe get some pot shots in. Do you know the rat ogres? The rat ogres are not really doing it for me at the minute, so I might just put them in the hero blob and just eat them in there. This is not a very tactically astute mission really oh you do have the bellow thing though don't you yeah maybe I shouldn't shoot you guys straight into combat and yeah I guess you can't really hide can you so we might as well just put you in the in the mosh pit of doom which is going to ensue but uh, yeah so basically plan is Basically, try and snipe his special units. If his cavalry forms, it reforms. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It shouldn't be too much of an issue. Uh, let's start as we mean to go on. So we want to select this guy. Because when we want to do this buff, and then we want to cast a spell real quick. Why a spell? Because it'll debuff his troops and stop him from thinking about even wanting to fight us. Basically. And Giselle's, like you really want to target uh, that guy as much as possible. Let's not let him mortar us, let's get the heroes in here. But yeah, like I suspected, he's just going to actually flee the field. Or he's at least going to run up there, reform, re rethink about his life choices. You know, if we have to do this to fight twice it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world it would be nice if we could actually get some kills though like look at all this uh, okay can we just like i don't know if this will do anything of anything yeah they are actually trying to do something now okay so that's that's fine really If we can get the land ship at the very least, like so, that's that's a primary target for us here, and it's just going to try and mow through things, isn't it? Look at it, just he wants to push through my units. I mean, it probably should really, because if I catch it, I'm just going to uh, just going to give it some bad timing. Go on, Gorich, get in here. Okay. And everything else run away. Well, now we can catch this, but we might as well do a quick speed up. Might be able to poke it a little bit. Yeah, there we go. 
Did anyone lose 51? That must have been a summons. Oh, although we did leave the slingers, didn't we? So yeah, they've took some casualties. But all in all, that was a raging success to start with. The question's going to be like... Kind of funny that I can yell out one unit for a tiny insurmountable amount. Uh, okay, 2k when we're in the minus. Yeah, I think anything above 2k we should take. Really? How much movement do we have left? Master Engineer. Loads. I Thing is, we can only really make a stand at A City, not both cities. And if he runs again, he's insta dead, so. Really, buddy? Really? You want to, uh. You want to be rethinking this running away like. It's another ambush. <laughs> it's another ambush. Awesome. Oh, okay. We actually had space for this. Spell resistance. Okay, so we will put that on the Lord. Because uh, spell resistance is always good. Is there any point in fighting this? I mean, I guess there is. I'm curious as to if he's actually going to try and run away again. We'll just uh, we'll just quickly do this in this video as well. Okay, so like if he runs away again, he's he's dead. So yeah, I'm pretty much just going to do the same tactic. Like it really isn't something where we must win. It's it's he needs to win. Now he has fled once, he really shouldn't do it again. But the AI has never been exactly known for its insane sense of sensibility. Uh, but you guys there, so we're just in range straight away, because... Yeah, honestly, these little units are super expendable. Like, I don't want to needlessly throw units away, like 23 gold dust teams today. I'm surprised we didn't lose any radio, because that's good. They proved their worth, effectively. So yeah, it's just going to be the same deal all over again. At this time, we're not actually putting anything, anything over there. We got really good vision because most of these dudes are tall anyway, so they're uh, they'll not be hanging around for long. So we'll just start as before. Is he just, is he really going to run away? Okay, we can smash this unit down. Like, he might just be wanting to try and form up and find a better way to come at us, but honestly, like, the ravine covers one flank. We could easily reform if he decides to try going around it. It's like, what are you going to do, AI? Once we've chased you all the way back here, get you guys off guard mode because it's so infuriating sometimes. He is withdrawing. Oh, he passed this out. Okay, well, um, easiest win ever, I guess. Yeah, but we need to munch some people for replenishment. Okay, well, that is odd. That's better, zero losses. Alrighty, now that, that is a shiny item. Uh, we can still get 2k again. Hmm. Kinda do want the experience though. Cause I've got a lot of heroes here. 
Yeah, we took 2k last time, so it's fine. Now, real question now is going to be uh, what on earth is going to happen in the north? Why aren't you healing? Okay, you can't replenish. That's uh, annoying. Well, I guess you can just go then because you're just dead space like that. Um, do we know what's in that other Empire army? Not likely. Nope. Nope. All the chaos bros in the world appear. All hail, honored rat. Let's sell a slinger and see what the situation is. We do have big monsters we could bring in. But I feel like these guys and these guys in the choke fights are going to be awesome, right? We've got a catapult already. Um, mm, the Doom Wheel would be nice, but we don't have that here apparently. The Storm Vermin would also be very good against Chaos. But we're assuming here that he's going to attack us, which is a bit of a... a bit of a why you do this. Ironically, trade would be the cheapest one to get at 7k. Thing is, it's only really going to work if I give him territories as well. I guess we could see this, but that's a tier 5 territory at this point. Let's, let's go for the trade deal. Let's see if we can uh, politicize our way out of this conflict. Just a few enemies. So I'm just I'm just not sure if he's actually going to attack us here. But we're, we're going to uh, take it seriously this time. We're not going to do the whole silly Dan ums and ahs and then gets annihilated. So uh, we're going to get rid of another unit of these. And we're going to pick up the Storm Vermin. And we're going to pick up the Catapult. Because this, in here, with a 19 stack garrison, should be freaking impossible to get through. We're only at minus 8k, which is fine. We took like 3 or 4k over the end turn. Well, not over the end turn, we're fighting that faction. Uh, we've got K's level building up, which will give us a metric ton of resources in the process. Yes, I, I need you to be as close yes. as possible for ambush. Okay, let's... Let's see, what are we doing here? Mm, what's currently in the army? A very non-optimum combination of stuff. I win. <laughs> you always say me what you're talking about. Okay, so we could do that one. Really, I think we wanted to get stand or die, didn't we? Yeah, because that is a great... 20... Or melee defense. Rally just gives leadership, right? You just replace Rally? Yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah, so we probably do want to get. Uh, we want to get the, this one, but we don't really have a mutation stat going, do we? Is the thing. Uh, how many do we have? Yeah, this is more weapons teams, and I've got to be real right now. You can always respec. 
Let's get the weapon team upgrade for now. And for you, my friend. Oh, there's still a couple of valid targets, but you really start to run out on these guys fast. This guy's going to max out his mentor pretty fast, and then that's going to be good for the other guys. Uh, Chieftain, well, let's get you that at level 1. And over here. Okay, we want to max out this magic, I feel. Yeah, although... The staying alive is probably going to be critical. But we'll focus on the staying alive. Okay, so... Yes, what he said. Let's get a unit of warriors in here. Some actual good frontline would be nice. And army's full, and they are replenishment. Okay, that's good. Um... New Red Plague. Like, I don't want to have these heroes running around on the map indefinitely. We can mess up the dwarves a little bit, and that'll be good. See, so he is, he is no doubt going to come for us. Yeah, leadership growth and income. Yeah, so he's, he's suffering quite a bit. And it is where his god man is. Like, I don't know why you've. You've only got one territory, right? Yeah, you do. How come you had a random army down there? Huh? Do I want to treat you with it? Oh, it'll betray me at the first possible moment. But also, I apologise if the mouse is loud. Um, let's get a Doom Engineer. Well, which capital? Oh, <laughs> this capital is going to be tier 5. Okay. Where is he? Anyway. Can you just like come down here so I can see you? Okay, so that's not a high level, that's not really a high level. Oh, ominous floating symbol. Oh, there's definitely an army there, isn't there? Yeah, those are all non-existential non threats, really. It's this capital here, probably. And it cause an earthquake. If we can knock that down to tier 4, that's going to really upset him. I want to put you here. Let's see what happens. Also, Winter Tooth has come back. Oh, he's, he's reasonably happy with me. What would you want for trade? Ish, no way. Non aggression? Still no way. Like financially, we're in a bit of a bind still. We do have to be careful. Uh, expand under Empire. Food. Nom 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 nom. Hmm, what's this one do? Two food. And a hundred for 80 discoverability. Eh. Income, construction costs for all building, trade tariffs. Army of the region, that would also be good. Oh, this would be good though as well actually. Let's, uh, let's reduce the upkeep costs on some things and get research going faster. Oh, we also need that though. That's 20, that's 60, 80. Deep tunnels. Yeah, I guess we're going to go all in then. So we don't have a whole lot over here. Okay, faster. That's good. Yeah, we want you to hop back in the sea, probably. Right, how close are we to her? Oh, we should be pretty close now, actually.
Yeah, I guess we want to be safe, so let's let's do that. And this one is uh, in search of Eshin. I should probably just tell him to go over here, right? It's there where Eshin spawns. Gonna take him a while. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, only nine turns actually. That's not actually too bad. Okay, you need a. You need to get in here. Oh, you need to join the monster mash army. So, I guess you guys can be merged up and we get rid of one of you. We stick. The baby hero in the army. Okay, so we're still at minus 8k, but with uh, 53k in the bank. Not bad, not bad. And plus, we're building a lot of stuff that's going to get us more money. And we should be getting close to. Putting that out, yeah, we're not building anymore. Like that. Okay, let's see what happens with chaos. So that is the big thing, right? If he attacks me with those three armies. It's going to be pretty grindy. Um, I'll probably look to get out of the war with Gislev if that happens. But even then, that's probably not going to be able to allow me to leave the south now that I've had got Kislev's capital. And, like, the Empire is going to come sweeping up to try and get rid of my buffer state. Which, yeah, it's good and bad. It means we can rebuild the buffer state and get my money out of him. But at the same time, it also means... Retreading old ground again and again and again. There's a freaking lord on the steam tank. And a huntsman lord. Now that's the nice thing about the Empire, they have a nice variety of lords. Okay, he's consolidating back a little bit. Realising that he's lost Kislev. And that I'm not exactly depleted. Don't turn on me. Sure. You want to be friends? That's acceptable. Come on, Daddy Chaos. What are you going to do? Wow, okay. No one attacked me over the end turn. Just menacingly sat here. Please leave. Greetings. Your abasement pleases me. Mike. Come on, dude. He wants 10k for non aggression. That's a lot. Is there any way we could raise 10k this turn? That's like the only way I'm accepting this. And I'm gonna probably assume the answer is a big no. Oh, that's a lot of dwarfs suddenly. But at least we've plagued this guy. Okay, we can't actually reach this in one turn, which really sucks. 
But we could if we thunder bird. How is that? Even Well, I guess I can put the other army in the capital and underway with this army because we, we have to end this at this point. Like, it's just. You don't want to be too close in case there is an army. There's no army. But we also have to hold Kislev. Kislev is important. We just got Kislev. We don't want to get rid of it so fast. We have got the walls built, haven't we? Yes, we have. Okay. Alright, so that's going to take a little while, but it's getting there. He doesn't really have anything in striking range. There's only really the orcs. How much would you give me? Is that it? I mean... I could just delete you, scumbag. How about that? What about you? Trade is very happy with. That's right. Anything that's going to get me more trade money is going to be good. Plus, there's a bit more in step with Archeon as well. Hmm. Yeah, no one can actually reach me here, so we can just destroy this and then Kislev is. Is done unless they actually take this war seriously. The biggest issue here is these heroes. Harold Hammerstorm. Oh my god. Okay. It's just a lot. It's a lot of heroes. I mean, we do have some Gisales, but... Hmm. What can we recruit here? Nothing. Monsters, that's it. Well, that's worked out extremely well for me. And yes, that is sarcasm. Um, why is the capital missing something? Oh, I didn't build it. Oh my god, Dan, come on. Amateur hour, are you? Um, the weapons team building is probably obsolete at this point. And next turn we'll be able to get that one. Okay, we don't know in the entire region, but yeah. Uh, what do we need? We need. Stormbrack. Could we actually buy this? We don't have enough money to pay perfect. That's unfortunate. Can we get any more trade deals? I mean, you're desperate for our agreement, but you ain't got the money. Seemingly neither do you have the money. He wants military access. Me and the lads got some time. What do you want? Hmm. I mean, you can have. I don't mind him moving around as long as he's at war with someone else, right? So we'll, we'll take a grand off him for that. But we we just gotta get some money up Man, here. Is desperate for peace now that I'm so outside of capital. Um, how much would you give me? Wow, that's so not worth it for how much of a pain in the ass you've been. Let's get one thing understood. I'm the boss here. No, I, I don't want you to stay there. We're consolidating this area. I'm going to destroy you for the food potential. Okay, so... They have not moved. Surprise, surprise. Oh yeah, we're going to fight the Chaos Dwarfs, aren't we? First, we're going to see what the deal is. There is a plague here. Many, many kills today. 
16 16% Are you kidding me? 52 is a lot better than 16 Nice, okay Old war my reference there, saying uh, Unlock the gates Okay, so we know what he's got now He's got trash and a level 9 ice forge legion cannon, okay Damn and he's got an outpost. And he's got Chaos Warriors in here. Machinations. Okay, but we do have catapults. Okay, yeah. Can we reach him this turn? Oh, are you kidding me? Can we not reach him with either army? Diabolic devices. The mouse has been funny. I'll do this to your mouse. Okay, we've got 2% left, as you can see in the bottom left hand corner, so we're going to attack with this one and reinforce with that one. Last. It's a valiant defeat, my lord. Imagine if I just pressed auto then by mistake. You'd hear me scream in America. Nine K from hitting this, so we can actually get ten K this turn. Is it still ten K or is it being mad in here? It's nine K now. He best not try and screw me now. Oh, that felt like a lot more than it was. Okay, where is the territory going? Alright, so. It should hopefully be the end of the Disciples of a Shoot. Thank you very much for watching. If you are still watching, if you have not subscribed already, please do subscribe. You can support the channel for as little as one pound. And uh, I try to produce as much content as I can. I'm going to ramp it up a bit. But first, there's some debate on the Discord on what we should be focusing on with the channel. Um, if you do have feedback on that, all opinions are welcome. Wish you good fortune all your was come. And I'll see you in the next one.